It is happy hour again at the banter bar. With G-E-D, Jarlene, and Tina. And this guy. So, motherfuckers recently started calling me Whiskey Wayne. I don't like that so much. I'm uh, more commonly referred to as Bill the Bull. And I hope you're ready for a full fucking taste of me because you don't get it tonight. Hell, I was born ready, Bill. Man, Tina done took a shot. We're ready. You want to start over here? This looks your speed, Geraldine. Do it. Mike's hard lemonade. Pretty sure I've seen them in your hands fucking every night forever. I know something hard. You don't see hard by God. I'll, I'll whip my pants down and yank it. You can't even see the guns, but they don't get this big just fucking sitting around happy hour. You won't take that. I didn't know that. For sure. I bet you can read better than Geraldine so you can have that. I don't read. Hey, I got a GED. Okay, um, this is, what is the biggest waste of money you can think of? You fucking put that shit in a baby bottle. Tina, that tastes like your Mima's punch. It's alright. I'm gonna give that one. A four. It's forgettable. You say my Mimo's punch is forgettable? I believe that's what she said. No, Tina, I saw it taste like it. Not exactly like it. There ain't nothing better than your Mimo's punch. Thank you. Yeah. It ain't good enough to be that good. That's good. I'll say a six. I ain't never had your Mimo's punch. I feel like it's missing the love, which don't really go with my next statement because it reminds me, you ever go to like a, uh, I don't know, one of them wedding parties or baby party or some of that shit, mm -hmm. and they got that lemonade, that's what this is, like it's cold, like some ice done melted in some real deal lemonade. Ain't no love in this. There ain't no love in there. That's what it is. It's good. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love all the wrong places. That's 5% too. Um, fuck, I don't know. I would say, I'd say it's good. I'd give it a 6. I'm trying to be nice. Right, I can be nice. You're pretty nice. What the fuck are you trying to? Well, since this question, what's the biggest waste of money you can think of? Here you go, fucking Ubers. All the things you take money out your mom's purse, Ubers, and you said it to the fucking world to hear. I did. That's my answer. I'm shutting up. Monsters design our clothes because you can get everything at Walmart or the thrift store. Uh, the biggest waste of money I could say is if you go through the food line and it ain't fresh, it's covered in grease, something like that. Well, luckily next in line is something with some fucking balls. This one's 8%. And this Angry Orchard Hardcore. And you can tell because it's a pissed off looking tree. It looked like a motherfucker I'd get in a fight with in a bar at the end of the night. This uh, Imperial Hard Cider. Dark cherry juice and natural flavors. You're a rowdy man. That's what I was thinking, Geraldine. He don't need to drink nothing called angry. You know why you're thinking that? Great minds think alike. Yeah, you go through enough shit in life, you just start to realize that I don't know. How do you feel about grocery pickup and delivery? The fuck that question mean? Like when you go to a store and you pick up groceries? You don't got the Walmart app? Or you get them delivered. I don't do apps. Usually I don't even go to a damn grocery store. I go to a fuck corner store and buy my milk and my bread and a little bit of potted meat. Be good. Gun places is real old school of you. What, now what is this? 
This smells freaking good. And it tastes even better. I won't feel great about it, but it's got some some funk on the end or something. Just fuck. It's got, I'm going I'm to sit with a seven. Yup, I like a little funk. I'm giving that one an eight special. Well. It's good. I'll give I'm it a six. Man, that's high praise. Those are real good score, Tina. Good job. All right, Bull. How do you feel about grocery pickup and delivery? I don't know shit about it. The world is crazy. I feel right, really Tina. good about it. I like it when hot men show up to my door, so I'm pretty fond of the delivery of groceries. You probably got one of them cameras outside fucking so take pictures of them when they drop the groceries off on. No, I ain't fancy like Tina. What's that red one? Pink as fuck is what it is. Jack Daniels. This got whiskey in it? No. It's a malt beverage. It's watermelon punch. 4.8%. Dang, watermelon. Perfect. Um, as a carpenter, what would you specialize in building? Oh, shit. Wood. This smells like goddamn watermelon. Uh, Jolly little, Ranch. Little Jolly Rancher. Yup. Mm -hmm. Not what I thought it would be. Mm -mm. I think it textures like it smells. Yeah, it's pretty sweet though. I thought it was going to smell stronger than it tasted. It's way too sweet. Not quite as carbonated as I expected either. It's more like a... Mm -hmm. Like a... What that shit? Kool-Aid? I mean, at least I ain't putting in baby bottles. But I still rated that pretty good. Tastes like if you go to Sonic, get a drink. And they put too much of the flavor that you asked for. You know what it tastes mm -hmm. like? Yeah. The dang rum. And I don't want that. Mm. You ever had a night in good? A what? Never mind. A night in good. Like a night in good. Uh, a night end good. That's three different words. Yeah, some pretty good nights with Tina. At the Rock and Radio Dance Club. I'm actually barred from every bar here in town. How about y'all, uh, why don't y'all rate this drink? Oh. Mm. Two. No, three. Unpleasant. You know what? I think you're right. I think it's a three. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm gonna give it a six. Nothing wrong. The only thing that's wrong with that is if you don't like sugar. And I ain't mad anybody in my life don't like sugar. This guy likes a little sugar. As a as a carpenter, what would you specialize in building? I know what I would build. What's up? You know them things at the holidays when people got. Uh, you know them characters you see them at the pumpkin patch them yeah. characters like they're in Halloween costumes or or they're in a Santa hat and some people got them in their yards and some people build them sell them that's what I would build Tina you'd make a Cullen oh ladies first I already said I'd build wood Uh, carpenter, I think I'd specialize in building, building houses. Best time of my life is helping my mom build her house. That's good. Something. Yeah, I worked on some other houses. It wasn't the same. But I think if I could just build my mama's house again and again, that's probably what I would do. Everybody needs a house like my mama had. Dang. That's a good answer. Y'all ready to try a pickle beer? All right, then. Never had one. I ain't never thought about having no fucking watermelon pickle beer, but apparently here we go. More watermelon. Tina, you seen this before? Mm -mm. 6.5% alcohol by volume. Tina, you're seeing it right now. That's a good point. 
You're right. I'll give you that. What determines whether or not you stop oh to help a stranded motorist? Oh, shit! Yup. Hell no. Yeah, you know, I ain't never had no watermelon like this at home, I promise. I ain't even tasted it yet. That smell like a, f a fresh onion is what it smell like. And I know because <laughs> Jethro cut an onion and start eating it raw. I like that beer. I'm giving that beer an eight because it is special. I couldn't drink a lot of it. I'd only have one, and I'd use it as a chaser after my shots. My shots of wild turkey. Wow. I'll give it a one. Wild turkey. Eight. I won't agree on the couldn't drink a bunch of it. If any of you at home can just turn up a jar of pickle juice... It's easier to drink than that. And that's still real fucking easy to drink for me. All right, one more time. What's it about? Stranded what? motorist? Why I help them? Why you would or wouldn't, I guess. If she fine as fuck, I'm stopping. If she got a penis, not so much. That's a good point. I was going to say male or female. But she don't have to look pretty. But I'm also going to say, because um, some women are tricky, I'll say bleeding or not. Like, how much help do you need? I don't know why I'm talking about this. I ain't stopped to pick nobody up in my life. Y'all ever stopped to pick anybody up? You What, you ask an Uber to stop to pick up a motorist? I would, I must say. Well, first of all, I tend to lock women with penises. Second of all, the thing that's going to determine whether I stop or not is whether or not the Lord speaks to my heart. What's the next beer? It ain't a beer. It's a cider. I like that. Strongbow. Uh, gold apple. I love apple flavors. What's the oddest poop you can remember taking? I don't think I can try this. What's wrong? I just thought about... I don't know that my mom ever got to try any of these drinks at the table. Nine. Nine. As good as hell. We like an apple cider. In the realm of ciders. Eight. That song bitch is good. And a poop? It's the best tasting apple you've ever had in your life. It reminds me of I think it's one of them big some bitches. Honey crisp. <clears throat> Can I have some water? I like a Granny Smith and uh, uh, I think I like the Gala. How you feel about the Fiji? I don't know that one. I can eat an apple. I got the teeth for it. <laughs> Poop. I ain't getting into it. So, I drink a lot of blue drinks, so I have a lot of Green dookies. The drink is blue, but it turns your dookie green. It's pretty cool. That's why I keep drinking it. I had a... We went... There was a Cookie Monster cake at a birthday party. And I had two pieces of that. And it wasn't no green. That shit was bright blue. Like three or four times. 
food coloring literally out the ass. You still ain't getting into it? Mm-mm. This mango mimosa. That it's sounds a, good. It's a light cider that's made with real fruit. It smells like it. Holy shit, the mango kicks off of this. Not counting any children you may have. Oh, God. Would you rather live with friends or family? It's a funky, strong-ass smell, but I like the smell. I'm giving it a four. Oh, it's forgettable. I already forgot it. I actually like the champagne notes to it. It's not the bubbles. It's the actual flavor of, like, champagne yeast. I like the... Uh, the orange undertone. I like the mango. I like that it hangs around after. But it's so fucking light. There's nothing in the body here. Six. I'm going to give it a three. Do you know what, Tina? I think I'm getting lit right now. You know what I'm thinking about? What? Losing my mind and never happen again. Like a chip to the cherry cola. Children. No. Not counting children. Friends or family. Who are you living with? I'm staying with my papa. Tina doesn't seen it all. You, your husband? My husband. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. I'm going to live with that man until the day I die. I'd rather live with family, but none of them want much to do with me, and I don't know that I blame them. So. This has been real fruity. We should go do some line dancing after this. I can't go line dance, Jeremy. Me too. We can do it right here in the studio. All right. As long as it ain't no fucking... I don't want to have to drop trial. I'm tired of having to do that in my life. I know you can do it, Bill. All right. We'll give it a try. Y'all don't get snake bit out there. I think that we we do everything. We did everything. How do we get out of here, Tina? You've seen the show before. How do we? This was really fun. Goodbye. Suck it. Ma. I'll just leave you a little sip in case you want to go back. We'll see you next time. On the bench, bro.